What are we fishing for today, Sidra? Sockeye. <laughs> Sockeye. Okay. So it's 3.30 in the afternoon, 86 degrees. Uh, I wasn't feeling too well this morning, so I slept in. And now we're gonna go and try some afternoon sockeye on the Brewster Pool. Here, the town of Brewster. Uh, it's a big bend in the Columbia River. So it's a big eddy where the Okanagan River feeds in. And try some late afternoon, evening trolling for sockeye. We'll see how we do. Okay, so we are at the tribal access point well it's property that's on the tribal lands um, but it's actually installed by Douglas County PUD or right on the Okanagan River there's a 97 bridge it goes over the river just north of the town of Brewster we're gonna go down river out to the mouth of the Okanagan and into the Columbia just got to dump the kayak over this little embankment here and uh, get going and try and catch some sockeye but at least we can park in the shade here, which is at a premium when it's this hot. Hook up within a couple minutes. Alright, so this on this rod I'm using a big sling blade, followed by a kokanee cut plug, red and white. I'm not, I don't have anything stuffed in there, I'm just putting a shrimp on there and that's it. But I am tipping it with a chunk of coon shrimp tail on the upper hook, leaving the back hook bare. Right of this boat? Just to our right. Yeah, that's uh, They're not going in that boat. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First one in the boat. I didn't take long. Alright, there's Citrus first fish. Good it's good. Fish. It's got a nick on its belly. It does. Back there, I have not been fish there. These are all air bubbles coming up here. You can see the bubbles actually right there. So you have had a bite. Lots of bubbles coming up off the bottom here. So that sling blade thumps a little bit more so you can see it on the rod tip more than some of these other herring style dodgers. I thought you were going to catch one on camera, Sid. It's about ready to happen. Oh. And then 
You ruined it. Is it still moving in the cooler? Yeah. It Savage. Is. It is. Brutal. Brutal. The world is a brutal place. It was Mitch Hedberg who said, if fish could scream, the ocean would be the loudest place on planet Earth. Catching one over there. You're steering now. I know I am. I'm just going straight. I'm trying to get this off the shelf. There can get a lot more boats out here. So, in general, we're going about 1.3 to 1.5 miles per hour against the current. We're going about 2 miles per hour with the current to get the action we're looking for. So that means there's about a half mile per hour head current. Across inside, they're supposed to turn out to the right. They have no fit in the world. I didn't think they were going to go on. We're at 28 feet of water. Oh, that's a good Tyler? I told him I just said.
Well, that's it. That's our last fish for the day. Let's see if we got a nice one. I think a superfly. That one. Superfly has caught. I think a superfly caught every one of our fish today. Except you got. Did you get one? I got. Uh, you got one two. on. You got one on a max leader landing. Oh, 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 oh. I got a couple of good times. Um, I think I caught two from here. Right, no, one on a superfly, one on a... You went one Wait, maybe I caught three from here. We're right in the middle. We need to get out of the way. We're in seven feet of water. We're in the our hot rig today. It's uh, just a big herring dodger and probably around 12, 15 just around that guy's pink super fly. Two red one knot hooks. I put a piece of coon shrimp on that upper hook. So not too much to it. Um, using just normal salmon trolling rods or glass rods on dropper rigs. So up in front here I got a sliding weight rig and a bead chain. So, sliding weight, either 6 ounces at 30 feet or 3 ounces at 60 feet chain, 24 inches back to the dodger, down to your lure, which we also caught them on smiley blades and pink, pink beads. And yesterday we got some on small kokanee cut plugs. We only got one bite on those today. Got a limit of 6. What was the most challenging thing about today, Sidra? Stupid people, I think. <laughs> Stupid people. It's a, it's a combat fishery, so when you get a lot of people, everybody tends to get in line. When you only have 20 boats or so, everybody thinks they can do whatever they want, and it sucks. People were, were fishtailing all the yeah, time. Yeah, everybody was going different directions. We got one rig cut off by a downrigger cable. But what are you going to do? Uh, i got a nice limit here. Go home, clean them up, eat some dinner. Till next time. Start throwing them in bag. Time to go. Put one in. Put one in. Yeah. Uh, no, there's two on the bottom. Put the other ones on top. I only saw one on the bottom. So. Okay, last one. I, have some gears in there. I already cleaned it up. 